Monday is the big day, and we'll all know this coming Monday as we go down to the big Emmy Award celebration downtown Chicago at the Chicago Theater. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for Ron Yashinsky, Herbert Dick Owens, and Polonia today. And I still am an Emmy nominee, and I'll be back with you next week for another edition of the Polka Video Show. Good night for now. Well, you just saw last week that I said I would be downtown Chicago at the Chicago Theater, anxiously awaiting to receive my Emmy Award. And we're standing outside right now. Let's take a walk inside and see what's happening as we go to the big Emmy celebration for this year. I'm surprised the lights aren't lit, though. You know, I, I guess they didn't know that I was coming. I can't... Uh, <laughs> figure it out and they don't have Emmy on the uh, it's Chicago Theater welcomes Emmy nominees you know from all the major stations here in Chicago uh, let's see the box office is closed well we don't I got my invitation I really don't need a ticket so um, we'll just go right in well, it must be this door here uh, the side door Okay, sir. Let me check the side door. Let's try this door here. Looks kind of dark in there. Uh, are we sure we're at the right place, Frank? Is it the Chicago Theater or is it some other place? Oh, sir, can we ask you a question? Is this where the Emmy Awards are taking place tonight? No. You're kidding me. Uh, you wouldn't yeah. lie to me, would you? I wouldn't lie to you. Do you have any idea where they are taking place? No. I can't believe it. You're, 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 not, you're not giving me a line here. I'm not giving I mean, I got my tuxedo on. I, I'm ready to walk in to receive my Emmy Award, and this is not where the Emmys are. No. You, know, you don't have the slightest idea where they're at. The slightest idea. Okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Well, now, <laughs> I think we better, uh, you know, Channel 7 is across the street. I bet you if we went inside and talked to the guard at Channel 7, he could tell me where the Emmy Awards are. Let's, let's do that right now. Maybe because, you know, we're supposed to be there at 8 o'clock and we, we have to go and find out. I mean, how could I not go and, and receive my Emmy Award? Uh, they told me the Chicago Theater. It's got to be here someplace. We, we walked across the street here and there's a, a security guard here from ABC, as you can see, right? Your name, sir? Harry. 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 Harry, can you tell me where the, since you work for ABC and it's a major market here in Chicago, I'm sure you would be able to tell me where the Emmy uh, Awards are taking place this evening. Uh, yeah, I thought they were at the Chicago Theater. Well, so did, so did we. No, no. Oh, uh, actually, they're at the Fairmont Hotel. The Fairmont Hotel. Okay, well, we've got uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, and You walk this way about four blocks, and you get on the L, you take that northbound. And then you get off at the Howard Street, L. Okay. And you take the CTA back here. Okay. Okay. All right, Harry. Right. Gee, thanks. Hey. <laughs> You're wonderful. Right. I appreciate nice it. All the people at ABC yeah. like you? No. They're no. usually sane. They're worse, right? They're sane. <laughs> okay, Harry. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We're on our way to the Fairmont Hotel and definitely the Emmy Awards. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> It's the Polka Video's Emmy Award Special, featuring from WBBM Channel 2 Television, President of the Chicago Chapter of the Recording Arts and Sciences, Scott Craig, First Edition Anchorwoman Linda McLennan, former Chicago Bear and sports reporter Johnny Morris, from WMAQ Channel 5 in Chicago, Norman Mark, entertainment reporter, Carol Marine, 10 o'clock news anchor, John Goldman, weatherman, and administrator for the Chicago Emmy Awards, Nick Aronson. From Chicago's very own WGN Television 9, Alan E. Hall, producer of the Bozo Show. Bozo, Cookie, and Wizzo. 9 o'clock news anchor Pat Harvey and WGN radio celebrity Mary D. My name's Keith Strauss. Join us as we take you to the Chicago Emmy Awards. Celebrate again. 
like we did last summer. Eddie Blazoinczyk presents Chicago's biggest annual polka spectacular, the 23rd annual Bel Air Polka Days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Three big days, 12 polka bands at the beautiful and spacious Sabre Room, 8900 West 95th Street in Hickory Hills, Illinois. Featuring all three days, the nation's number one polka band, Eddie Blazoinczyk and his versatones, Wanda and Stephanie, Ray J and the Carousels, Dwayne Malinowski, the Dinosonics, the Windy City Brass, the Downtown Sound, Music Company, Staj Galunka, and many more. Three big days, 12 polka bands. There'll be food, refreshments, concessions, and fun galore at Tickets six fifty at the door seven dollars. For tickets or information, call Bel Air Enterprises at five nine four five one eight two five nine four five one eight two. Don't miss Chicago's biggest annual polka spectacular, the twenty third annual Bel Air Polka Days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, July eighth, ninth, and tenth at the Sabre Room in Hickory Hills, Illinois. Let's celebrate again, like we did last summer. Let's celebrate again, like we did last year. Number one, you know how to have a good time and you know how to get things done. And when it's time to rock and roll, you know just what to do. You were born to be a bud man and you know this bud's for you. But the bud bud, only one man will do. But the bud bud, this bud's for you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we finally found where the Emmy Awards are gonna be taking place. We are here at the beautiful, just opened this past January here in Chicago, the Fairmont Hotel, and we're at the Imperial Ballroom. And the Emmys ceremony is just about to get underway, so we'll be taking you inside right now. Wow, we finally made it inside. Look at all those Emmy Awards. I'm sure one of them has the poker video show on it. Hey, there's Scott Craig. He's the president of the Academy here. He's introducing uh, one of the first presenters, uh, Chris Long from Channel 32, one of the anchors from their newscast. Gee, I wonder what happened to him. I wonder if he was out skiing someplace or something. Well, I don't know. He's going over some of the rules right now. Hey, look at Gian Greco and Joan Esposito. They both double-breasted for a change, huh? Ah, Pat Harvey. Oh, Norman Mark. Look at the way they're passing these Emmys out. Hey, looks Don King Jr.'s there. Look at that. Boy, oh boy. I'm telling you, I ought to get on stage. Mike Parker, we were sitting with him. I think I ought to get on stage. I think they noticed me if I snuck in there and just uh, just took one of them with me. There's so many of them up there. Yeah. Well, I'll wait till my category uh, comes up again. It's coming up pretty soon. Yeah, this, this is our, here's the table we were sitting at. Uh, there's Mary Nissenson, Mary Nissenson and Mike Parker and, hey, Ron Majors, Walter Jacobson, Channel 5 and Channel 2. Walter's got to have about 15, 16 Emmys by now. Good friends, I guess they are. He invited him back on stage to make a speech because uh, he didn't get a chance. Ah, here comes Johnny Morris. We are sitting right next to him and his lovely wife, uh, wife future wife-to-be, Carrie. Uh, we're going to talk to them a little bit later on. Just wiping off some of the lipstick on Morris right now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside the ballroom here at the uh, Fairmont Hotel, the Imperial Ballroom. And as you can see right now, the uh, Emmy Awards are being handed out. We have John Coleman from Channel 5 and also Robin Brantley on uh, stage right now. And they're presenting the awards. And uh, soon uh, they'll be coming up with uh, my category. So sit tight with us. We'll be right back. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, condominium, or investment property, the one stop you must make is at Eagle Real Estate at 6344 West Gunnison Avenue in Chicago. Courteous, helpful, and friendly services are always available. Every effort is made to make sure no detail is overlooked. For a free market analysis, stop by at Eagle Real Estate or give them a call at 792-5000. 792-5000. They also speak Polish. Eagle Real Estate, fly on up to Eagle Real Estate, 6344 West Gunnison in Chicago, soaring high above all the pretenders in the real estate field. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they just read off the uh, category that I was in and uh, didn't do it this year. Didn't win. The, you know <laughs> you know who beat me out? A guy by the name of Pat Hurley used to be on uh, the Bozo Show. Maybe uh, maybe it takes a, uh, a red bobulous nose and red flaming hair and big shoes in order to win a Emmy. I don't know. But, uh, well, I'm going to drown my sorrows and uh, we'll talk to some of the stars here. 
Okay, we're here with Scott Craig from WBBM Channel 2 in Chicago. He is the president of the Chicago Academy of Television Arts and Sciences here in Chicago. Scott, good afternoon and welcome. Thanks, thanks. And also Mr. Nick Aronson, who is the... Uh, administrator. It's a big word. Administrator of the TV Academy here in Chicago. That's correct. I've got one question to ask both of you gentlemen. I was nominated for an Emmy tonight. How come I didn't win? You people who didn't win. Is that the first time you've been nominated? First time, yeah. Just wait, you're, you'll get one. I'll tell you what though, it was just an exciting evening for me to be here and to actually see the people that us at home watch on television. Honest to God, it really was an exciting event and I hope to be back again next year. Good for and you. And much congratulations to WBBM who's took the whole slew of awards here, right? I took a bunch. Now he's from WMAQ. They did very well too. We did all right. Okay. Nick Aronson, Scott Craig, WBBM, WMAQ. Thank you, gentlemen, both. Well, once again, we're with another Chicago first lady of broadcasting. Oh, thank Chicago's you. Chicago's very own <laughs> Pat Harvey from thank WGN you. Television, 9 o'clock news. That's right. Pat, I see you're holding an Emmy. Yes, I am. I'm so very excited about this. I've been in the market two and a half years. Can I tell you a quick story? Sure, go right ahead. I was introduced to the Chicago Press two and a half years ago at a TV Academy luncheon. And Steve A. Daly asked me how I felt to be an interloper. Well, at first I, I took it personally. <laughs> and then after thinking about it, uh, I said, well, I understand the question. I'm new to the area. So if Steve is going to watch this interview, I just wanted to tell him that I don't feel like an interloper anymore, but I do feel very proud to receive this award and compete in Chicago television, which is the best well, in the country. There was a story out today in the Sun-Times. You beat WFLD, and they're the only two broadcasts that do a news show on Channel 9, I mean, at 9 o'clock <laughs> on Chicago television. Yeah. I shouldn't drink when I come to, the, to these affairs. <laughs> well, it's all right. But honest to God, Pat and your uh, co-anchor Rick Rosenthal, for, who for many years was uh, Wally Phillips' newsman That's on right. radio. On WMAQ Radio. Much congratulations to you and much Thank continued you. success. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking with the the, the guy that's most accurate in Chicago, Thank Chicago you. weather. But John, when is it going to rain? By the time uh, this telecast gets on the air, the storm clouds will be gathering on the western horizon and before the end of the week, a shower will have darted through the city. Not enough. We haven't had a rain in two weeks as of this Monday night. All that and no cue cards. I'm amazed. And in fact, I'm just getting wound up because I figure I might get a little longer to talk about the weather on your show than I do on my own. I do, a, <laughs> I do the whole weather forecast for five days and in a minute and a half on Channel 5 at 10 o'clock. But, but you I can see as opposed to skillful skilling, right? Well, Skilling's a great guy, you know, but he started out as one of my weather observers when he was a eighth grade kid living in Aurora, Illinois, and I was the weatherman on Channel 7. And, I, he, you know, he grew up with me. So for many years, I was his idol, and now he's mine. Okay. You've got more hair than him, too. I'm a very lucky guy in that regard. I have pulled it out on numerous occasions, but it keeps growing back. John, let me ask you a question. I don't see your hand uh, graced with a uh, Emmy Award. I won an Emmy in 1974 for a series I did on tornadoes. That was only 12 years ago. I'm sure they'll get back to me eventually. Well, the reason I say that is because I was nominated for an Emmy and I didn't get one. Well, I, I've only been... It, let me ask you a question. How does it feel to get an Emmy Award? It, it, I don't know because the night I got it, and I've only gotten one in 20 years in Chicago television. I was nominated once, I got it, so that was a pretty good deal. But I've, that was 14 years ago. I just redid my math. I didn't get to come receive it myself because Channel 7 made me do the 10 o'clock weather, so I still don't know what it's nice like. Nice guys, huh? I don't, well, they paid well. <laughs> and how long were you in New York? Just one year. That was uh, six months of hassle, six months of fun, and then I came home. All right, John, great to have you back. Congratulations you. on your new marriage. Thank you very much. Much happiness and luck to you. Thank and you. please make it rain soon. Next year we'll both win Emmys. You I hope see. so. All right, John, thank you very much. You bet. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking with one of the most beautiful and vivacious women on Chicago television right now. Thank you. From Chicago, WBBM's channel. I shouldn't drink at these affairs. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Emmy Awards and we're talking to Chicago's 
my estimation of you is number one lady in Chicago television. You've got Carol Marie thank and, you. and uh, Marianne Childers beat. Oh, thank you, thank you. Honestly, no, there are a and lot I, of great women broadcasters in this city. But since you've came here from Canada to Chicago, <laughs> thank you for stepping into the picture. <laughs> We are here, ladies and gentlemen, with the first lady of Chicago television, at least in my estimation. And, and it proves it because she's holding two Emmy Awards it, right here. Well, I didn't earn these just myself. These were for the group, the group effort, news team, the whole news team. And no, I first have to be one player. First edition is the only news show that I watch and I get excited watching, and not because of Lester. <laughs> because of Linda McLennan. She's been here in Chicago. She came here from Canada right. a year ago, March. And uh, one of the greatest additions to Chicago news broadcasting. Linda, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. This is how, wonderful. How do you feel about winning the, Ooh, the two Emmys? It's great. I mean, one is wonderful enough. <laughs> That's a nice dress. Can I talk you, you out of it? No. <laughs> I had difficulty enough getting into it. Let me, it'd be hard to get out of it. Linda, since you won two Emmy Awards, you wouldn't mind if I took one home with me, would oh, you? Oh, no, listen. No. no, I'm guarding these pretty jealously. I like okay. them. <laughs> Linda, I appreciate you taking time Thank to stop you. by and talk to us. Nice Linda to McLennan, you. Linda McLennan at 4.30, WBBM, you got Chicago's it. first edition, and sometimes on the weekends, right? Sometimes, sometimes at 10 o'clock, too. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very Thanks much. The leader in storage equipment for trucks and vans is Keystone Supply. Sales, service, installations, 4567 North Pulaski Road. Whether you operate one truck or a fleet, Keystone has the equipment and service you need. Chicagoland's number one name in small truck storage equipment. They stock and carry a complete inventory of shelves, racks, cross boxes, saddle boxes, as well as ladders and tools. 15 years experience, Keystone Supply Company. Call Clem Juris at 7364124. One truck or entire fleets or stop in at 4567 North Pulaski Road. Chicagoland's number one name in small truck storage equipment, Keystone Supply. I never knew how annuities worked, but after buying one through Tolman, I found they work great. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Paying service fees on a savings account always seemed dumb to me, so I'm glad I found someone who agrees. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Hi, right, we're here with Norman Mark, critic from WMAQ Channel 5. There it is. Can I uh, can I take this for a few weeks, Norman? Sure, sure. It's can I can I can I really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. was up for an for Emmy a and I, I was up fee. for an Emmy and I didn't win. Well, you know, I give your try three stars. If you had four, it would have been all right. But you know, this gentleman has been seen uh, interviewing the likes of Eddie Blazoinchik. Oh, one of the greats, one Lenny Gamolka. Uh, those guys give great interviews, and they're fun. And the one thing, uh, wonderful thing about them is, after you through interview them, you can play their videotapes, and it's terrific. You know. Well, Norman, congratulations on oh, your you. uh, Emmy Award, and uh, much continued success to you. And thank you for the publicity that you have given the polka field in Chicago. We appreciate. Well, it. Well, I think it's important. I think Chicago is the polka capital. I think there should be more, and I think you know that I ought to win more fights on that score in my station. Thank you, Norman. Thank From you. WMAQ Television, the, uh, what, what is your official title there? I'm the entertainment reporter. Entertainment reporter, okay. Thank okay. you, Norman. Gentlemen, we're here with first time after 28 years. Is that correct, Al? Not true. We won, uh, the Bozo Show won in 1964. The show got, a, it was a, they had a different structure then. The show got the award, and as a result of that, all the talent got an award. The director, which was me, got an award, and the producer, Don Sandberg, got an award. So this actually is our second Emmy. Don Sandberg, Sandy the Sad Face Clown. Sandy the Tramp, that's right. Da, uh, Al, congratulations. A, a, uh, a prominent figure in Chicago television has produced many things, uh, telethons, parades, uh, specials for WGN television. And uh, the Grand March for Kids, on which you were kind enough to help us out so much. Well, I appreciate that, and we'll be back again next year. Oh, so will we. And we'll, right. we'll look for you Fantastic. there. Fantastic. Yeah, Al, great. congratulations Thank again. You so much. Thank you. One of the most popular, the most popular show in Chicago television, The Bozo Show. And we are very honored and privileged to have with us Wizzo, the world's wackiest wizard. Doody, 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 doody. <laughs> and also... Bozo, the world's most famous, Bozo tea clown, right. tea. the world's tea. most famous right. clown. Right, the T stands for the. Uh, yeah. the. And also, Cookie, the world's cookiest cook, 
Uh, that's right. For the first time in 28 years, gentlemen? Yes, yeah, I guess so. 27. 27? 27. 27, yeah. 27? Okay. Who's counting? <laughs> They have won a Chicago Emmy, and you guys put on one of the greatest shows in television. I'm almost 30 years old, and I watch it every day, honest That's to God. Great. But Marshall, I got to ask you a question. Did you duty do on the? Uh, did you duty on the awards this year to win? No, not really. No. <laughs> I tell you. Okay, Roy Brown, Cookie, Joey Diaria, Bozo the Clown, the new Bozo here in Chicago, doing a wonderful job for the past four years. And Marshall has been with the show for many, many years. Many. About 22 years. 22 years. You look like it. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Hope you're back again next year. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with another first lady of Chicago television, the anchor at the 10 o'clock news on WMAQ Channel 5 here in Chicago with Ron Majors. Heck of a nice guy. He is a heck of a nice guy, and he's a great professional. Carol Marine from Channel 5. Carol, you told me before we went on camera that you have won 11 Emmy Awards. Mm -hmm. I think so. In Chicago alone or? Yeah. In Chicago. I, I was nominated for one and I didn't win. What tonight, I, tonight I was too, I didn't either. You know, sometimes you do. Carol, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, you do a wonderful newscast. You're an in-depth reporter. Thank you. Thank you. And. Um, yeah, I know you took the sweeps last month. We did very well. We were very and pleased. I hope you continue to take them because Thanks. you are a first-class news team. Walter should retire. No, 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 no. <laughs> never, never order someone else's retirement. It might be yours instead. You know? Probably so. Carol, thank you very much. You're much My success pleasure. to you. Thank you. Same thank to you. you. Remember when you drove a real car, had real parties, and the music was real rock? Well, it's back in a great new collection guaranteed to make you feel real again. Jeremiah was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. Real Rock, four giant albums, three super cassettes, 40 certified original real hits. out the real you. Real Rock, the most singable, danceable music ever. All the little birds on Daybird Street. But remember, it's not sold in stores. Let me tell you about the birds and the bees. Stay tuned to order now. To order, call toll-free 1-800-228-2323 to save all COD charges and pay only $19.98 plus $3 shipping for four records or three long-playing cassettes or $24.98 for two compact discs. Use your credit card or send check or money order to Real Rock 5944 North Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Remember, send check or money order or use your credit card to save COD charges. ETC, the ethnic television channel. It's Chicagoland's new cable channel for Polish Americans with no extra charge. Chef Richard with Polish Cuisine, the Ethnic Journal with news about Poland and Polonia. Poland, 1,000 year history, delving into your proud heritage. Polka videos, mixing fun with polkas, and Polonia Today, TV's premier Polish American program, plus weekly movies in Polish subtitled in English, so the whole family can watch together. Travelogues, documentaries, all that, and Hello Warsaw, independently produced in the Polish capital, plus so much more. Use of English as its primary language makes ETC a friendly member of every household. Seniors remember, children learn, and we all enjoy. What's more, it's the perfect environment for newcomers learning English. ETC, the ethnic television channel, is seen on channel 52 in Group W areas. Elsewhere, call your local cable company for availability. ETC is included in basic cable service with no extra fee. ETC, no Polish American home has TV without it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here on the floor with the new, soon to be, Mrs. Morris, Carrie. Carrie. How do you feel about Johnny winning in an Emmy Award? I'm so proud of him, he's great. I had no doubt, no doubt. 
He's one of the all-time great sportscasters yes, in Chicago. He sure is. Former Bear player. I mean, what more could you ask for, nothing, right? Nothing. Johnny, come on in here. He's the greatest. Come on, here's the star of the show. Mr. Johnny Morris. How does it feel to win an Emmy, John? It, it always feels good. It, it was a it felt good because it was for Bears Extra, which includes our whole team on our sports. All of our producers and our reporters, everybody contributes to that particular show. So I regard it as the most important of all the Emmys that you can get. And the Bears Extra hits you right here, doesn't it? You don't know how hard sometimes. <laughs> Johnny, Kerry, thank you and much success and best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. And we're here with Mary D, the voice that you hear on WGN Radio. The lady, let's see your fingers. Are you the lady that picks the these lottery are, balls? These are the lottery hands. <laughs> Mary, you're not holding an Emmy either, are you? No, I'm not. I'll tell you what, I think we're both in the same category because I was nominated and I didn't get one either. Well, this is my first nomination, so I'm just impressed about being nominated. Me too, me too. I, I think I'm it's just great. agog with the whole situation here. <laughs> Honest a gog. A gog. I like it. You like it? Yes. <laughs> but uh, you've been in Chicago television and radio for how many years? 22 years. 20. This month. Uh, one of the, the biggest. In the, you're an institution. Let's not BS one another. A little institution. No, you're a big institution. You've been around for many, many years. And this is the voice that you can associate with on WGN Radio. Well, and of they course, tell me my claim to fame is um, Bozo Circus and the Lottery. I have done everything in television. And our moms and dads, uh, boys and girls, get all set for something. Those are things that people stop me in the airports about. <laughs> Mary, a pleasure to have you on our program this afternoon. And much continued success to you and whatever you do. And uh, maybe next year we'll both get one, huh? All right. Okay, all I the like way. That. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, the Chicago Emmy Awards have come to a close here. On Monday, June 6, 1988. And, uh, well, this is a beautiful, beautiful trophy. And, uh, sorry to say that, uh, well, the Poker Video Show didn't fare so well this year at the uh, Emmy Awards, but, you know, there's always next year. You know, Eddie Bozoinchik didn't win the first Grammy the first year. There's always next year. But I am sure appreciative of Ron Yashinsky Herbert, Dick Owens, Frank Chambers, my producer, all the guys at ETC, Andy Sakura, Mario, Bill, Anton, Linda, all the wonderful people that put together the Polka Video Show each and every week. For you, the Polka fans, to view on cable right here, number Group W, ETC, channel number 52. And all I can say is, next year, next year you can bet that I'll be on that stage holding one of these. Next year, I promise you. Thank you and good night. The Polka Video's Emmy Award Special has been brought to you in part by Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. This Bud's for you. Tallman Home Federal Savings, dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Bel Air Enterprises, don't miss Chicago's biggest annual polka spectacular, the 23rd Bel Air Polka Days. Eagle Real Estate, soaring high above all the pretenders in the real estate field. Keystone Supply Company, Chicagoland's number one name in small truck parts and accessories. NETC, the ethnic television channel, we bring people home.
ETC, the Ethnic Television Channel, a video roadmap to the exciting world of ethnic America.